most interesting thing begins their resource test, technological service test. Engineer Alexei Mokhalov gives us a tour of the workshop of the Ural Civil Aviation Plant. Here they are developing the Baikal aircraft, which has been talked about so much in the news recently. Alexei Vadimovich gave the plants 54 years and himself participates in engine testing. For me, this is a factory, but in principle it means everything. I have been working here for so many years. Now it is very difficult to compare with what was, and that now it was a small factory, there were maybe 300 people, but now 9,000 are already working, but so many years have passed and 50 years have passed. What were the differences? And the platform was completely different. Alexei Vadimovich is a representative of the real aircraft dynasty. This is Vladimir Alexeyevich. My dad has been working at this enterprise since the age of 39. He started as a defect inspector for the equipment itself. Then he worked as a foreman, head of the workshop, and for a very long time as chief engineer. Many of the employees are children and grandchildren of the first specialists of the plant. It was just a repair shop. At Aeroflot, everything changed with the beginning of the Great Patriotic War. The enterprise had to reorganize to assemble bombers of combat aircraft and also produce parts for the famous Katyusha. This year, a memorial was opened on the territory of the plant in memory of the people who made all this possible. Here are 150 names of veterans and here. Yes, and if you pay attention to the surnames that are indicated here, you can actually trace our great Soviet history, how we forged the victory of everyone by the Union without regarding who is of what nationality, who to which republic there is from the Baltics, from our Central Asian republics. Naturally, there are Russians, Ukrainians, Belarusians, and so on. For example, Alexander Kurbatov repaired aircraft, then went to the front as a volunteer and defended Stalingrad. His granddaughter now works at the factory. Natalia Molotova is a metrologist. For 25 years, she has been checking the accuracy of various measurements, including those that were needed to design the Baikal plane. Her daughter also learned on the subway, so it is not possible to perceive Baikal simply as a project, says Natalia. It causes too many emotions. Right. It is the pride of our plant that it is developing and expanding. That is, Omonti Enterprises have grown into an enterprise that creates, develops, and multiplies stationary. There is an increased demand for domestic aviation equipment in our country today, so he supervises the production of Baikal. Ministry of Industry and Trade. Now the plant is only testing the aircraft and has already received pre-orders for more than 60 Baikal Vs. At the end of next year, we should deliver the first five aircraft to Aurora Airlines. This work is financed by the Ministry of Industry. The plane Baikal is designed for nine people regional airlines. With its help, they plan to fill the shortage of small aircraft and thus expand the route network. In the Far East, they plan to buy Baikal and enterprises not related to passenger transportation. Not only are passengers already being transferred for women, but they are solving a number of important tasks in the interest of the economy. This is providing food, security, it's aviation chemical work, we're helping achieve record harvests, we help protect. The national wealth of Russia is our forests, so we fight as witnesses, so if our fires. Today, all these works are performed by the legendary AN-2, but do not forget, the aircraft was built in 1947. We love the AN-2 very much, it is a beautiful plane, for its time today, it is clear that it is morally obsolete. It's a two-way circuit. The lower wing on AN-2 helps in absolutely landing operations, and further on the echelon, the plane simply drags the lower wing behind it, and there it interferes with it, creates additional resistance. Baikal is also a light, multi-purpose aircraft, that is, like AN-2. It can perform a variety of tasks, but Baikal will fly faster precisely because it does not have a lower wing. In addition, it runs on jet fuel, while ANVA is needed exclusively. We find gasoline. Russia has aviation kerosene everywhere. For example, we have to import aviation gasoline to Yakutia. This is very expensive, and this affects the overall economics of aviation work. Another plus of Baikal. According to Klim Galyulina, this is his coating. It is made of dur aluminum. This is the name of an alloy based on aluminum with additives of copper, magnesium, and manganese. Due to its composition, dur aluminum has increased strength, and this is an important quality for a universal aircraft. This is a real workhorse. Meanwhile, manufacturers consider Baikal to compare not with its Soviet predecessor, but with more modern foreign aircraft. We compare ourselves First of all, with competitors, with foreign analogues, closely 208 and Kadiak 100. I want to say that our aircraft is cheaper than these imported analogues. The Titanium Valley Free Economic Zone in the Sverdlovsk region helps to reduce production costs without losing quality. 
It is there that Baikal is partially collected. Another production site is located in Nizhny Novgorod. In the Titanovo area, there is a good infrastructure, very convenient. We have an additional customs post there and we receive all the benefits that it implies, therefore, the use of free economic zones in terms of taxes and so on. Baikal also wins on some technical characteristics. So, if you compare with the Tesla and Kadiak, and the range of these aircraft is about 914,918 kamish. On our aircraft, it is almost two times higher, which is 1,520 kilowatt. At the same time, we worked on fuel efficiency while maintaining the commercial load. The combination of these factors makes our aircraft unique and competitive. According to open data, CES aircraft for the Grand Caravan are only partially assembled at home in the United States of America. The rest of the assembly takes place in China. This scheme in the aircraft industry is very popular. Many major brands produce various components of their aircraft in different countries. Depending on where there is more labor and less costs for the production of this or that part, a similar strategy was initially followed by the Ural Civil Aviation Plant. Involving foreign partners was essential, particularly for engines and screws. The goal is to speed up the certification of the aircraft. However, 2022 showed that globalization is not always effective. Foreign partners interrupted cooperation with the plant due to sanctions. The future of Baikal seemed to be under threat because the engine is the heart of the plane. But it is not for nothing that they say that even a black strip can take off. The plant began to develop the propeller and engine independently. Thus, we will not have any imported aircraft, even we have. The propeller group will be completely domestic, that is, the aircraft will be completely domestic without any foreign components. The transition to its technology has led to the creation of new jobs. However, here the plant again faced the challenge of a shortage of personnel. Especially engineering, of which one basic aviation education. Who's eager to join aviation? To solve the problem, they began to cooperate more actively with universities, and many internships with further employment appeared. As a result, today the average age of specialists at the plant is 36 years. There are decent people. They didn't study in vain. This is all I could share from my experience. One of Alexei Vadimovich's students, Evgeny Lensky, will be called. He came immediately after graduating from the Institute, started as an ordinary engineer, and now heads an experienced division, supervises testing of Baikal VK800 gas turbine engine. We have about 100 people working in the project. This is both a design bureau with a chief designer. This is also pilot production, which collects products. Due to the transition to domestic components, delivery times of Baikal shifted several times and he faced criticism, but the creators of the aircraft prioritized reliability, says Evgeny. Every part that is assembled in trial production, if you assemble it there slightly inaccurately and allow a small gap there, then the parameters will already be different. Eugene does not hide the engines. The screw has been redone several times. Everything so that the plane can withstand temperature changes from minus 60 degrees to plus 60. To do this, the prototypes were placed in a special thermobarak. This whole power plant weighs about 300 kilograms. It consists of a screw and this compartment is called a gondola in it and the engine is located in K800. By the way, it is created not for one aircraft but for four at once. That is, we are talking not only about Baikal but also about other projects including the Russian-Belarusian Oswa aircraft because the more multifunctional it is. Now the engine is undergoing tests and we will observe them in the laboratory. Everything is ready. The main thing is through three sound driven inclusion. Starter Victor passes. On takeoff mode. Power ramps up accordingly. Everything proceeds as planned. The next phase of testing is sending the K800 to another flying lab. It allows you to evaluate the engine performance during taxi and takeoff of the flight itself and, of course, landing. Check. The engine was successful and the beginning of testing of the aircraft as a whole. To date, when conducting tests, what positive is this? Higher cruising speed, longer flight range, large supply of fuel. All this will allow Baikal to fly in the most remote corner of our country in the future. In the meantime, after all inspections, the plane was sent for repairs. Repair does not hide anything dangerous behind its name. It is simply a replacement of imported ones. 
components of a Borisilova screw installation, in particular for domestic ones. Alexei Yazinin recalls participating in the creation of aircraft. He had dreamed since he was a child, then he just wanted to be involved in the fact that a big car rises in the air. Now motivates another fact of the construction of a completely domestic aircraft stimulates not only the self-aviation plant Baikal has provided orders for 200 Russian enterprises, for example those that produce products for interior decoration. Let's go inside and see the salon. Sure. There you go. Can you smell the smell of a new car? It is this interior that is planned to be exploited. Everything is also made in Russia. Can we see the cabin? Sure, let's go ahead, huh? Even everything Russian, but we are warned that the configuration of the cockpit controls will ultimately be a little different. The group of switches will be regrouped slightly. All adjustments are made taking into account the wishes and comments of pilots. They are the ones who pay the most attention to detail. Follow me. After all, even having a thermos in the cabin. For the crew who hang out in the Taiga at L600, these are very important prices. And it is important that this thermos is fixed in a certain place and does not pose a threat to flight safety. Flight safety is also influenced by another factor, independence from foreign applications. As far as I know, the navigation system is also Russian. How important is this for the plane? This really matters. Because flights are difficult, accessible places must pass without loss of navigation signal. Reliance on endless updates isn't ideal. Naturally, it does not depend on system updates. Who can just shut us down? That's right. At first glance, Baikal may seem too simple, warns Alexei Yazanin. No complex systems for you, the cabin is aesthetic. But this is the main advantage of the aircraft. That is, a crew of two pilots can sell it for reflight. Also inspect the refueling so the aircraft is not designed complex systems. Serial production of Baikal is planned at the end of next year. Thanks to this, the plant will again increase the number of jobs. New aircraft builders. By the way, experts in this area are representatives of the Moshelov dynasty. I'm pleased that my daughter, son and grandson continue to work on activities, in particular aviation. Alexei Mohalov Jr. has been working at the plant for four years and is now preparing for a wedding. I met my future wife here at the production in the assembly department. And great-grandfather, grandfather, well, the whole family works here and works for me now. This is life. Soon the factory did not give weddings. Small aviation creates huge opportunities for Russia. Industrial growth, regional development, breakthroughs in science, investments in human capital. And that's not all the new horizons that one small plane can open.